So in the last uh, while, I have modeled a few items from The Last of Us, or inspired by The Last of Us. And here I've got a couple of air conditioners that you would see in one of the levels of the game. All right, so I, I really do like the, the models in the game and the, and the texturing in the, the game itself is incredible, of course. Um, I modeled uh, this scene from The Last of Us as well. And this is the courtyard, and although it's not exactly from The Last of Us, it actually was inspired by the courtyard scene as Joel and uh, Tess head out uh, to uh, meet with Robert or whatever, or on one of their you know, trips with, with Ellie. And uh, so it was inspired by The Last of Us. And in the meantime, I've been working on some texturing that uh, might pass for some damage in a scene like The Last of Us. And this is just one of the, or a couple of examples of, of that kind of stuff. And so uh, I've used some of that here. This is not The Last of Us. This is the post-apocalyptic classroom. But you'll see some similarities between uh, this uh, amateurish similarities, I might say, compared to the next image, which is what I want to tackle next. All right, but my point is, uh, again, sort of uh, inspired by The Last of Us. And uh, this is the real deal. This is uh, one of the images uh, from the game, a screenshot they just found on the internet. And uh, I want to do some of this. Uh, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And of course, there's no way that I'm going to be able to replicate what these guys and gals, 20 to 30 years old, uh, Naughty Dog, are, are doing because they're the pros, right? But we're going to have some fun with creating a scene uh, similar to this in this post-apocalyptic uh, The Last of Us world. So um, there are some relatively straightforward um, components to this. Of course, we're going to have a wall right here and we're going to have some windows we got some window frames we can do that and some doors let's just forget about this piece for now uh we've got some some chairs here there's three of them there and it looks like there's another three so they're in groups of three we got a relatively straightforward table we can use um the wood that we used as a smart material in the post-apocalyptic classroom, maybe with some modifications if we need it, so we can we can we we have our wood material pretty much already. Um, down, uh, well, let's look at the ceiling. Okay, you've got the ceiling tiles again, kind of similar to the post-apocalyptic classroom, so we can do something similar to that, and maybe grunge them up a little bit more, and some more dirt, some more rust. So I definitely could see we can have obviously walls and windows we're going to need, some chairs in there, uh, the ceiling, we can do that kind of stuff. Uh, we could do a tiled floor, probably in Substance Painter. It would be nice to move into Designer, but uh, I think we would probably do it in Substance Painter with some debris and dirt on them. Uh, we could do these washing machines or something similar to them. Again, this is this is going to be inspired by the last of us by this scene and it's not going to be an exact replica but we could do some washing machines we got a number of them here and then, then another row of them you know this this row this row this row this row of them all right we've got some kind of uh of barrier in between this wooden thing i'm not quite sure i'd have to zoom in on that we could do a couple of these uh posts like things columns there um garbage can we could do something like that we come down to the far wall we've got these washers or or dryers sorry so they're, they're on a little bit of a riser here so we could do that and just think of sort of a rectangle this part extruded in a little bit with this round part and a bit of you know frosted glass so we could do that kind of stuff maybe a couple other colored ones or different designs if we decide to even do that we could just extend that down back wall maybe a clock maybe a couple of posters we'll see i don't know that i would do this thing here maybe we'll just bring these to the end or leave that blank whether or not we did a tv i'm not going to do every little bit but now and by the way i should tell you right now that this scene is not this bright i've brightened this up in gimp so that i could actually see it it's somewhat darker but i was having trouble seeing it 
So, you know, we would definitely have our uh, hands full uh, with the modeling, which doesn't look too difficult. Um, the real challenge is, is the texturing and uh we'll do our we'll do our best to make something that lives up to the uh to the theme of this at least all right with some dirt and debris uh, you can see that there are a lot of streaks here okay so there's some dirt and some streaks all right maybe we'll we'll have a closer look at that i haven't done too much of that in my videos so you know, so yeah, some of the textures uh, don't look too, too bad. A lot of streaks and, and, and stuff. So we'll do what we can. Anyhow, we'll block out the main scene and some of these items here. And we'll think about how we could do our tiled floor and our ceiling uh, with a few of these pieces broken off. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, again, it will, it will look something like this but it won't be uh, anywhere near uh, uh, as awesome as this. But we'll do, we'll do something really cool. Okay, so that's what I plan on starting. It's going to take a number of videos uh, that we'll call this part one. And in part two, we'll start blocking out the room itself. I don't know what's going on back there, so we're just going to end it off. And we're going to take a shot here so that we don't have to worry about what's there. We're going to have a couple of washers and stuff in there. So like I say, we'll start blocking out the main parts of the room and figuring out uh, how we're going to model. That's going to take a few, a few videos right there. We'll do some modeling and uh, we'll get into texturing this thing. And hopefully it will end up looking similar to the apocalyptic classroom. Uh, back here with, with a bit of a wider shot and some nice textures and you know I'd be happy if it ended up looking something like that all right so that's what's coming up I hope you're interested in that and I hope you will join me we will start in the next couple of days with the block out thanks so much and hope to see you soon